Ladies and gentlemen, with 12 hours left in my Save Thor News July fundraiser, we only have $190 to go. So y'all are absolutely amazing. With this recent turn of events, meaning the 6.5 earthquake in Southern California, which I had been predicting all year, and putting us on a volcano and earthquake watch in America starting May 22nd, People are starting to see the picture a little clearer now. And that, yes, things are weird and things are changing. And that is why we all have to work together. Now, we're looking at 45,000 lightning strikes in the last 48 hours. And I think the highest number I've ever seen on here is about 52,000 lightning strikes over North America. So, or the United States. That is an impressive amount. There is a lot of energy in the air. And... As I've been sort of warning for a while that having a bunch of planets retrograde, meaning Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Mercury goes retrograde on the 7th, and then a full eclipse, a solar eclipse, the weather would get weird and then super extra weird. And it's technically been just getting weirder since 2012. And please don't forget about Hurricane Barbara, um, although she's not expected to hit Hawaii as a major hurricane, she has been showing signs of bringing lots of rain with her. Now, let us get to all the stories for the day. This is for Asteroid Fight Club members only. Sometimes the truth hurts. And A, I do a ton of research as your planetary defense commander all the time. I have predicted hurricanes for the middle of September in the northeast coast. And for Florida in the middle of October around the Tampa Bay area. We will get into that later. My intuition is so high lately that I put out a video last night saying it was going to be a wild, wild, wild 4th of July. And then I said, hey, it's going to be a wild 4th of July. But this has been me every day fighting the good fight. And I thank everyone that has been with me every step of the way or any step of the way. Because we are all in this together. And if we are going to adapt to these adaptable Earth weather changes, the only way we're going to do that is as an Earth team. Now, what I do believe in the basis of my research from what I have found is that when all the gas giants are on the same side, you get some of the largest volcano and earthquake eruptions known to man. That if you track back any major earthquake or volcano eruption in the United States, you'll find that all the gas giants at that time we're on the same side. I've done a lot of videos on it, and I've predicted a lot of things off planet alignments. I don't have it all down. I don't think anyone will have it all down. We also have interstellar medium coming in. We have the condition of our sun, which is in a grand solar minimum asterisk. It's kind of a magic. The sun is also kind of a magic phoenix egg. Um, so there are a lot of things going on more than just carbon. So all of science has been focusing on only carbon and so me and a lot of people in the truth community including dutch synths and suspicious observers who are excellent at earthquake predictions and explaining what we're dealing with i highly recommend checking them out and then cranky weather guy i'll leave his blog linked for you he does weather extremely well and last year i predicted hurricane florence a week ahead of everyone on the planet accurately with location and he predicted Hurricane Michael, like three weeks ahead of everybody. So it's a, it's a really good team. And the whole weather Twitter team is good. Everyone who's here just trying to not get caught up in politics and bring you the solid information that people can use, I salute you. And happy 4th of July, y'all. Uh, thanks to all anyone out there who's doing what they can to protect the people, the planet, and the animals. All right, so yeah, we had a major 6.4 magnitude earthquake in Southern California, um, and it's with my theory of all the gas giants on the same side, it's going to take, it'll be about six more years of earthquakes and volcanoes. Now, it's not anything that's going to wipe out all life, but we are going to have to adapt to it, and since the year 2015, I've, uh, I've been recommending we build new cities in safe places. 
Um, but you can see here when the earthquake struck, it the whole place was shaken. And then just the other day, we had the Stromboli volcano erupt in Italy, killing one hiker, which came as a bit of a surprise to a lot of people. But not most of the people who have been paying attention. Alert level has been raised for Hawaii's largest active volcano, Mauna Loa, Hawaii. And if you remember last year in May, it had a major earthquake. And soon after a few days, I think a week or two, uh, the Kilauea volcano erupted. And it, it didn't erupt out of the, the hole of the volcano. It actually created new like 22 new fissures, which was wild. And then we have the one of the major volcanoes that is the closest to the United States. We have Popocatepetl. Um, Popocatepetl. This volcano has been go is probably the most active volcano on the planet. It has been having activity, including eruptions, exhaustions, gassing out, pretty much every single day of 2019. And so that is going to affect the jet stream. That is going to affect the heat in the Gulf. That is going to affect a lot of things. Here's from the 24th. One of the more visually stunning uh, volcano eruptions from Papakatepel. And so these are the things that I've been talking about that we would see. These are, these are the reasons I kind of had the foresight and into, I am Star Lord New Thor 7. Um, and so I've had the foresight to see where we'll be, we would be headed, and I've had the foresight to see the only way we're going to make it through this and adapt is together, that our old ways are about to go by the wayside. And then we had a tornado hit in northeast China, and it hit a city. So anytime a tornado hits a city, that's a big, strange, weird deal. As I was pointing out earlier, the, uh, the lightning is through the roof, and... <laughs> I have uh, the funny thing is I started my YouTube channel. Uh, I I planned on doing comedy videos, but then I started studying Comet Elenin, which got me to the sun, and Comet Ison, and the sun led me to the weather. And because the sun has been acting really weird since 2012, like those big solar halos you see, I don't remember seeing those before 2012. I don't remember seeing photos. So I have a saying: when the sun acts weird. Earth weather acts weird, and people act weird. And then you throw in a full solar eclipse on top of that. I got to tell you, I live in Houston, Texas. The last time we had a full solar eclipse, five days later, Hurricane Harvey hit and stayed stationary over Houston for five days. So yeah, 2019 has been wave after wave after wave of cliffhangers. And so 24 hours ago, I thought Thor News was doomed. Ironically, the 6.5 earthquake has uh, brought more attention my way, so hopefully I will be saved. I got a crazy, uh, hopeful, hopeful feeling that I will, because I have done nothing but pretty much sacrifice everything I have to bring you guys the best information I can possible. I'd like to thank all the happy tingles I got today from Hermione and Daenerys. Um... And all Katya tingles, I think. And here's another one of Papa Katepel. And so I don't remember anyone on the mainstream media ever mentioning the fact that you have a major erupting volcano in Mexico. And so I highly recommend everyone stay above the fray. Uh, if there is a time, there's for years I've been saying we need to put aside our political differences and work together to adapt to this. And then, if all the weirdness wasn't weird enough for you, breaking this just in, 43 soldiers and recruits from a Swiss Army Academy were hospitalized on Thursday evening. Three are in critical condition. And so you have, like, Brexit has been stuck in a no-go zone for three years. You have an old system of oil and war that is trying to decide, are we just going to stay in that until we collapse, or are we going to come up with a new system together? So definitely, it is an interesting time to be alive. Dabu 7, large earthquake swarm follows 6.4 that hit with sprawling weapons testing range. And like I said, we can all adapt to this. Um, and here are my uh, hurricane predictions for upcoming. Now, 
I don't know what's going to happen between now and the middle of September, so we still have to watch. Now, here is the latest earthquakes in California. As you can see, we've had a bit of a swarm. Aftershocks. Uh, one, one day, you have 130, 155 earthquakes have happened, with the largest being the 6-4. We just had a 4-0 in Cerles Valley, California, so the and then a four oh right before that, and then a four oh right before that. So the earth is a rocking. That's the reason I've been warning that you know, uh it's like I haven't having a saying for I had the saying through Obama, I have the saying through Trump. Like you gotta pretend like your government is not there, and if it is, it's there to distract you. It offended the Democrats back in when Obama's president and now defends the Republicans now that Trump is president. I'm telling you, staying in the middle, you know, it hasn't made me a whole lot of friends. Uh, I mean, it has, after a fight club, but I'm saying that for people jockeying for media, media narrative time, us guys who have been saying, hey guys, you know, uh, politics is a, a shit show circus fire in a dumpster. So, any energy put there is wasted, but people take that real personally because politics has become the new religion. So, you like I said, you have a 6-4. We're definitely on high alert. I put us on high alert for all of July because you have multiple, multiple planet retrogrades. I remind you, in 2017, the Cleveland volcano in Alaska was going off many times, seven times in the year. We had a major Russian volcano eruption. And I want to say again, this is not doom. We're not; these are not super volcanoes. But if we don't adapt to it, our structure and the way we do things is not set up to handle this. And so, it is my belief, and my predictions have been extremely accurate, that we will see continued, increasing volcano earthquake activity and we weather weirdness. We just got six feet of hail in Mexico during the week for the next six years. And so, the only thing you're gonna get to vote in two years for president, and then two years after that, you're gonna get to vote for midterms. And so, voting isn't enough. Talking about politics isn't enough. We're all gonna have to figure out how to come together as a people, figure out how to handle this. And the people who've been saying, we're all gonna die and it's doom, for the last 20 years, are like grumpy cat. And we haven't died, and that whatever it is, we're going to live through it, and we're going to make it. Okay? You hear me? And so, I am your planetary defense commander. I have a friend coming over in about a half hour. We're going to go watch fireworks. Um, actually, technically, he's the other half of our band, Silver Blue Sun. And then I'm going to come back and keep you guys updated. And right there, did that just look like a low? That looks like a heavy low, like a... You know, like I said, I have, and we've been watching this chain of lows that comes out of th this, that chain that's coming out has been doing some wild stuff. And as someone who's stared at this damn map forever, this chain of lows is some of the wildest shit I've ever seen. And so, no matter what, the southeast is going to get pegged. That draws up some type of biz bizarre, that would be a tropical storm heading right over Destin, Florida. I don't know, if, you know, if anybody's out there in, in Destin and Miramar. Uh, and that would go through Georgia and then move out. Uh, earlier models had it this actually turning it and curving into Nova Scotia and with all the gas giants retrograde, I say I have to say it's a possibility. But this is a hurricane season, and I have been one of the top hurricane reporters and predictors on the planet, along with Cranky Weather Guy, um, for the last since Hurricane Matthew. So if you would like to support me and keep me doing what I do best you can make a donation to my PayPal and I'll leave it linked and any snail mail is sure to get here uh, but I just want you guys to know that I love you and I appreciate you and that we will make it through this together I believe the people who want to work together and succeed and build a good future will adapt to this the people who don't want to work together and feel like oh, that doom is imminent then they probably won't end up with anything but doom but they you know that's what they wanted i guess 
So we got $190 to save me, 12 hours to go. I'm gonna go watch fireworks. I want you guys to have a super happy 4th of July. I'd like to, as someone who's lost two Air Force dads, I'd like to thank all the soldiers out there, past and present, who are the ones who protect us and make sure that we are still a land of freedom. Although it's a weird asterisk, especially online, but we're still in, in better shape than I thought we would be. So I love you guys. Stay cool and um, peace out. God bless everyone.